Learn how to use an Expo Disc step by step with me, Audrianne from Live Snap Love. So, at the end of this video, you're going to know how to use one of these to set both your exposure and your white balance. Now, both of those things are linked, so be sure you watch until the end so you know how to set both using your Expo Disc. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll get notified each week when we release new videos just like this one. But for now, let's move on to how to use your Expo Disc step by step. So the very first step is just to place the Expo Disc in front of your lens. Now, if you happen to have a lens that is the same thread size as your Expo Disc, that's great. You can just clip that on. If not, all you need to do is place the Expo Disc in front of the lens like this. So it doesn't need to be clipped on in any way. As long as that Expo Disc is covering the entire lens, you're good to go. So the second step, still with your Expo Disc in front of your lens, is to go back to where your subject is. So I actually want you not to be standing where you are to take the image. I want you to move from there and go back around to where your subject is. And then point your camera back at the area where you're gonna be taking the photo from. So you're standing where your subject is, and you're gonna be pointing the camera with the Expo Disc attached back at the location you will be taking the image from. So this lets the Expo Disc see the light that is actually falling on to your subject. So that's why we don't want to be where we're taking the image from when we do this. We want to be able to see the light that is falling onto our subject. So it's really important you're standing next to your subject when you do this. So now what you want to do is set your aperture, your shutter speed, and your ISO in order to get the correct exposure. So at this point, you're just trying to get your ticker to zero. So you're setting all three of those, ideally in manual mode, in order to get the correct exposure. Now, if you're not sure which settings you should be using, that's absolutely fine. I have something for you. It's my free manual mode cheat sheet. Just go to the link in the description beneath this video and you will be able to get your hands on that for free. And that's gonna uh, give you some ideas about the aperture, shutter speed, and ISO you should be using. So we grab that if you are in any way unsure. So you are in the location where your subject is and you have your Expo Disc in front of your camera lens and you are setting your exposure by making sure you have the right aperture, shutter speed, and ISO and you have that ticker to zero, which case we're ready to move on to the next step, which is to set our white balance. So what we have done up until now is set our exposure. So if you're with me so far, give this video a thumbs up or just type yes in the comments below. So we've done one part, we've finished with our exposure, we can now move on to setting our white balance. And for this, we're actually gonna stay in the same location. So we're still back, standing with our subject, pointing our camera with the Expo Disc in front of it, back to where we are going to be taking the image from. And all I want you to do at this point is to snap the shutter to take a picture. Now, if you find that your camera won't do that, just switch that little lens, or sorry, that little switch on the side of your lens from AF to MF, and that will allow you to take an image. So that's all you need to do is you're basically snapping a picture of the inside of that Expo Disc. So now you're going to go into your camera settings, which will be different depending on whether you shoot Canon or Nikon, but just find your white balance menu and choose custom. And you're gonna select the image that you just took with the Expo Disc. So it's gonna be a kind of solid gray or grayish color. You're gonna use that and that is going to set your white balance. Now it is important that you have your exposure set first before you do your white balance, both are linked. If you're not sure about those camera settings in manual mode, be sure to download that manual mode cheat sheet that you'll find in the description below this video. 
And that's it. You can now go back to your shooting position and you can start to take your photos, knowing that you have your white balance perfectly set. So that's it from me today. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below letting me know whether you enjoyed it or not, and if you have any questions at all. Now I'll be back next week with another video, so to make sure that you stay in the loop for all these new videos that we have coming up, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, and you will get a little notification every time we release a new video. So that's it from me today. Once again, thank you so, so, so much for being here. I really appreciate you guys, and I will see you in the next video.